What's up everybody? This is CryptoBox with another video. If you're new here, I make videos daily about blockchain games and NFTs. Subscribe if you're here to make some gains. Also, check my Discord and Telegram down below in the description. You can find me there, ask me questions, give me suggestions, and communicate with other people. So let's get started with the video. Now, before I get into the video, I want to show you a project I've covered over a month ago. As you can see, I recorded this video and published it on October 22nd. And uh, at the time of the recording, it was about one cent in the project as Coinafish or the CTFT token. And if you take a look at it now, you can see it's over a dollar and thirty cents, which is a hundred x. And it hit an all-time high right here. If you were to check, it had an all-time high of two point two eight dollars, which is more than a hundred fifty x of your money, almost being two hundred x of your money. And uh, yeah, that's just a show that I even predicted as you can see 10x. It's actually more than 10x like I said. Don't want to miss any updates here and there. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on any of these projects. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Ninetales or Ninetales NFT. And this is a very, very new project with a lot of potential. And you can see right here, it says Ninetales, Nine Races, One Fate, an NFT and play to earn project that is also upcoming and uh is gonna be soon to be you know mainstream so right here if you scroll down you can see they have some nfts like only 666 nine tail nfts will be sold in the pre-sale and their pre-sale is actually happening very soon and you can sign up there uh, i'll link it down below in the description here you can see uh, they do daily posts more than daily sometimes and then you can see some of the nfts and these NFTs will actually be used in their game that they're also developing. So yeah, they have some, they're pretty low and uh, this shows that they, they could be a possible hidden gem too, which is, you know, what we look for usually. And if you go to their website right here, you can see it's an innovative crypto gaming project and it has a quality artwork collection and new minting paradigms. Here you can see this is the big button to apply for their whitelist. And if you click on it right here, you can see that it is a Ninetales whitelist application and the pre-sale price is about 0.049 Ethereum plus the gas fees, which is they're not charging or anything. That's just part of the Ethereum network. And uh, the price is going to be lower than the public sale. Now there's going to be 9,999 NFTs and the 666 will be sold in this pre-sale. So whitelist will be posted on their discord. So if you want to see like the results or anything, you should go there and check it out. And here you just basically apply for it. You link everything uh, for the whitelist. And uh, from then on, you get yourself into the applicant section. Here you can see this is like a story of their game. And you can see that 9,999 warriors will be chosen to be in their game and enter their realm. Then you have the collection right here. This first project aims at kickstarting the creation of the world through an NFT collection of 9,999 uniquely generated hand-drawn characters. Uh, the proceeds from this collection will be later used to create a fast-paced play-to-earn card game where NFT holders will have multiple perks. And then lastly, nobody likes Gas Wars. This is why we will be offering an innovative minting process to be revealed soon. Now, if you don't know that if you want to mint an NFT on the Ethereum chain, that is going to take so much money for just a single NFT. I've seen prices go up to $60 per NFT and um, fortunately, they're going to be trying to resolve that and make it way cheaper to the point where they're not going to be paying that type of prices. And then here you have their medium to find their light paper. Then you have their roadmap. So uh, you can see right here. Uh, on November 15th, you can see that they did their light paper publication. And then on 20th of Nove November, you have the whitelist applications uh, opening. So you can apply there. Then they were going to do their whitelist sale on the 1st of December. And then you're going to have their white paper, not the light paper, their white paper on the 7th of December. Then their public sale on 12th of December. And then in, in itself, December. You have the game development team deployed and working full time, meaning that they're going to start working on that game and they're going to get it as fast as they can to get it published. Then you have the first qu quarter of 2022 where you have NFT's holder, airdrops, uh, art direction fixed, tokenomics fixed, gameplay design fixed, meaning that they will decide exactly what it will be and they will fix it so they can't change it or anything and, you know, 
change the whole roadmap or game plans or anything. Then you have the second quarter of 2021 uh, game development process, first expansion build, voiceover and art progress, and then their teaser trailer. And then it goes on to show that token sale with priority to NFT holders, full trailer, and then it goes to pack sale with priority and airdrops for NFT holders. So meaning that if you got their NFT, that would be so beneficial towards you. And uh, I wouldn't recommend missing out. Here you can see this is another button to their whitelist application if you're interested uh, to get their NFTs, which I highly recommend. So, And here you can see this is the creator of this project. Right here they link for every person uh, some type of social where you can find them. And then you have the actual people. So you have like head of development, head of game design, and you can see that they have a pretty big team and it's professional. If you go to their light paper right here, you can see Nine Tails is an upcoming play to earn card game where players can battle and earn in a fantasy world where nine different races coexist. Then, uh, like they said, uh, the 666 whitelist spots and the price of 0.049 Ethereum mine price. And uh, that's going to be November 20th and that is already passed. So then you're going to have to then you're going to have their public sale price TBA and price will be fixed and there will be no curve. And then you have the NFT holder benefits. So let's say you have an NFT from them and you're just holding it. You can have free card pack drops. You have early access to their game token. NIT at a discount discounted price too. Then you have discounted access to card packs, higher chance of dropping rare cards, and etc. So then you have their game design, their tokenomics, which is you know obviously not fully uh, defined. And you can see that NIT will be listed through an IDO with priority to NFT holders. So their NIT token is uh, definitely not fixed right now, and uh, more details will come further soon for those. Uh, for the tokenomics and their actual token. So uh, this is the platform itself. Uh, tell me what do you think about the platform. I think it's a great platform and there's some potential behind this. It's really early to the point where you could make a bunch of money if you got even their NFT and just left it. So I recommend checking it out and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Comment what you want for the next video and what can recommend and I'll see you guys later. Peace.